Hey friends, um, I've had a couple of people request that I do a tour of the Yukon after I've built it out. So I was just going to take a minute to do that. So here it is on this side of the car. Um, underneath the bed on this side I have just some extra shoes. This is the DVD player that hooks up directly to the um, TV that's in this ceiling. Um, dustpan. There's a little bit of extra storage back there. Um, it goes all the way across and then I have a little rug behind here on the driver's seat I have essentially like a little bathroom when we're camping somewhere that we can't set up the shower tent or the the bathroom tent we actually have the um, porta pot sitting right here so normally this whole little area right here it's very crowded but it works for a um, bathroom in a pinch like in, in the middle of the night when we don't want to get up and walk somewhere to go to the restroom so then here you see I have a little um, portable air conditioner that keeps it nice and cold um, on that side I have the hanging bag that I have some fruit in and then under the bed here I have my packing cubes and each one of the cubes has one day's worth of complete outfit so I'm not having to dig through like a big bag just to try to find a pair of socks or whatever and down here also I have my um, first aid emergency kit just got to keep that handy just in case and then looking into the back here is the bed. The bed really fills up the whole space. There's not much room for anything else as you can tell, but it serves its purpose. And really a bed and an air conditioner and a potty is all that I need to go camping. So I have some decorations and decorative throw pillows, my sound machine, of course, because I'm a super high maintenance sleeper. Just ask my husband. Um, in this pillow, it's actually not a pillow, or I guess in this pillow case, it's actually not a pillow. It is where I store extra little throw blankets. So I have those handy and they also aren't taking a extra storage space. This conversion works out pretty well because it has um, cup holders that I can easily access. And then I use this little area as my vanity slash nightstand those kind of things that I need to have or want to have handy by the bed. Um, I have ran power back here and I have the cords for my phone and my watch so those can be plugged in and just set over here on the side of the bed when I'm sleeping to charge. Let me go around and I'll show you from the other side. And then on this side I have a squeaky door. Um, <laughs> I have a little heater here um, that I can plug in, just an electric heater that I can plug in if I need heat instead of air. I found this cute little four drawer cabinet or um, organizing cubes, I think at Goodwill. I had initially thought about painting the outside instead of the bright yellow, but I've just got some random colors in here and I thought it was kind of fun the way it is, so I'm gonna leave it, I think. Um, <clears throat> I did add these knobs because I thought they were cute and uh, let me show you what's inside of the drawers. In this drawer I have just some plastic wear and this one has my dish washing items. This one has, holds my bath towels. These are actually the best towels for camping especially if you're car camping because they dry really fast and so um, you don't have to try to find somewhere that you can hang them up for a long time. This is my junk drawer. So I have the um, adapters if I'm plugging in somewhere that doesn't have just a 110. I have extra extra lights, my Alexa, a selfie stick because you always need a selfie stick, command hooks, just random little things that either I have extras of or just things I want to have just you know in case. And then this is actually where I have everything plugged in. So if you haven't seen the video where I show how to um, have power going into your shore power as they call it I'm um, going into your vehicle make sure you watch that I'll link it in the description below and then I have a couple of um, tabletop lanterns and then this is where the power comes into the Yukon um, it goes in on the other side of this is basically like a um, male end of an extension cord and then you plug in the female end of the extension cord as you can see they're white running there um, and then that just plugs into the post so you have power and then I just put in a um, 
storage bar inside and I have several plugs and things like that. I don't know if y'all can see under there, but there's storage all the way to the back of the Yukon um, because I built this bed frame out of like outdoor or garage shelves that I got at Home Depot and there is a video for that that I will link in the description as well. It was super easy to do. It only took me oh uh, maybe in an hour and a half to two hours to do that complete project. And then I got this um, dream tapestry. I think it's a wall tapestry and then just ran it through. I, I sewed a, a pocket in it and then on the back side of it, there is a black bath towel so that um, this thing for the, the air conditioner, so that's, this is like the exhaust for the air conditioner. And this tube gets really hot when you've been running the air conditioner all day. So I wrapped it with some insulation and then put some of the same stuff that I used for the inside of my window coverings um, for just for some added added insulation and just so that it would be easy to wipe down if anything happened to get on it or whatever. Um, so that's vented through the front window and because of that some of the air like seeps back in around the edges of it or whatever so i made this curtain to separate the front of the vehicle from the back um just to keep it a little bit cooler back here and then in the front of the car <laughs> it's a mess um this is just extra stuff like these are our shower bags that we're going to just take when we want to go over and take a shower it has everything each of us there's two of them so there's one for each of us that has everything that we need to go take a shower we have extra waters a jacket some of the pantry items that i didn't want left outside in the tub because they would melt or like the bread would get condensation in it which it looks like it has some because i didn't bring it in fast enough and then a jump starter and the tie down cables that I use to tie down this stuff in the in the back whenever we pack up. Here's how the air conditioner is vented out through the front window. As you can see this is the back side of that curtain that just has that bath towel there. We have the air conditioner vented through the top part of the window and then I just have a half sheet or half window covering on the bottom because I cut out a piece of wood to fit um, the, the gap between the window while it's down to let that vent out and um, to cut out perfectly for that fitting. I'll show you what it looks like from the outside. Here's how it is on the outside. So I just took a piece of wood and just cut it to fit this outline and then I cut it around for this vent hose. I was thinking that it would actually come out and go flat, but because of the way it's the angle that it's coming over from the back seat or the back of this seat, um, it won't come out there flat, but it still comes and hold, comes out enough that it holds into place. And then I just have one of these screen uh, bug protectors that goes over a window just over this top part, um, just in case when the air conditioner is off, that way no bugs can come back in through that. Okay, this is essentially the trunk. Um, at first I didn't have anything here, but the pillows, every time I would open the cargo door, the pillows would fall out. And so I just got a bath towel, I measured one that would fit across here perfectly. And I sewed a piece of Velcro to the towel and then stuck the other side of it to the side of the car. And it works perfectly. I have a very tall husband, so I didn't make the bed um, platform very large. I just wanted it to be high enough that I could at least store some things under there, but still give him um, some room to sit up in the bed. So I think this is maybe roughly four and a half, five inches here. So that's just some leveling jacks. Um, I went <laughs> in the Dollar Tree and found these cat litter boxes and I bought all they had. I was thinking the person at the register probably thought I was one of those crazy cat ladies because I think I bought 10 cat litter boxes. Um, so this one has all of my outdoor shower stuff if I'm camping somewhere that doesn't have a shower house no nearby. Um, and then there are some extra ones under there. I think one of them has like our tire changing supplies and some of the other ones just have random extra things that I have stored down there. And then on this side over here that's a little bit more narrow, I have the extra cover for the window that goes in the front passenger side, which I have a half sheet one there now because of the air conditioner. There you can see the cord that's ran down the side. And that's pretty much it for back here. So I have this um, cargo 
thing that I hook onto the hitch and I can put my cooler and all of my supplies whenever I'm traveling just so they don't have to move them in and out of the Yukon. I have my trash can here. Stand up tent that I use for a little bathroom whenever I'm camping somewhere that it's kind of far to walk and somewhere that they allow tents. So I just have the little toilet some extra kitty litter because that's what I put in the bottom of it um, to absorb whatever and then tissue papers and sanitizer thanks so much for watching I hope you found this video useful please give it a thumbs up and subscribe for more videos